All right, all. <clears throat> Today we are going to continue on with our fascinating tales of French fries and potato dishes. Um, so let's go ahead and get going. So yesterday you guys saw the Lockies. <clears throat> this one um, goes into fries around the world, which is also another important one because um, what well, goes fries around the world and then there's a slide or a, a thing about the different potato dishes from around the world. So we're gonna go ahead and start. So whenever you make fries, <clears throat> there's a couple different ways you can do these. Um, you basically want, you don't wanna just take a potato, cut it and dunk it in the fryer because, and then cook it all the way through because it does not get crispy. Um, it'll get cooked, but it won't be crispy. So what you have to do is blanch them in the oil. Um, and the way you do that is you cut the fry, <clears throat> make sure it's dry. You know, if you have to cut them ahead of time and soak them in water, make sure you drain them out ahead of time so you get all that water doesn't end up in your fryer. Then you want to cook those for about two minutes at 300 degrees, maybe two and a half minutes. Take them out, lay them on a tray, let them cool. What that does is it pulls all the starch from the inside and then it keeps it from turning brown also. So then once you get an order, you, you crank your fryer up to 350, 375, whatever, you know, your recipe calls for, but typically it's about 350. Um, put the fries, not overcrowded, back in the basket and fry them till crisp, okay? And then here, um, here's a pretty good video. Um, yeah, and serve immediately, don't try to hold fries. They do that at um, fast food places, but those places don't use fresh cut fries. So like McDonald's, their fries are processed, so it's not, it has potato in it, but I think they actually, I don't know how they make them, but it's not just like a fresh, a fresh cut potato that they deep fry. So yeah, so don't hold those things. Let's watch this one. Hi, can I just get a bacon cheese fries? Anything else? Nope, that's it. 554. Great, thank you so much. Nice. I really love the melted cheese drizzled on top, and the bacon bits are so crunchy. I think the playback would be on this one. All right. So, <clears throat> see if they get at this one. This one just different types of fry, but at least you can see how they're doing them and how it's served. Oh, God, look at all that salt. Oh, and a lace sauce. So, <clears throat> that's pretty good too. There's more fry. Uh, no. Oh, poutine. Oh yeah, I've had that before. So it's it's fries with gravy on it. Nice and cheesy, real cheesy. Okay, this is in Germany. Ketchup and mayonnaise on them. That's different. Okay, this is going to be a finger. I'll move another cup. Spice. The sweet taste that comes from the fresh meat of this, and this 
schwer ist, danke. 2,20 bitte. Und auch so. Guten Appetit. Dankeschön. Ciao. Hmm. Curry powder too. Did not see that part. Was eine Mischung. Pommes müssen auf jeden Fall frisch frittiert sein. Sasa? Ne zapata chips masala. I like the sweet taste that comes from the fresh tomato base and the taste that also comes from the fresh dania and overall it's a very tasty, very spicy Kenyan meal that anyone can enjoy. I've never yes. seen fries that are like that. Mag ik een patatje oorlog? Normaal. Middel. Met ijsjes. Met ijsjes graag, ja. What? Fries with peanut sauce and raw onion. That is different. Oh wow. Ze zouden overal pindashuis op moeten doen. Verrukkelijk. Yeah, this is in Peru, in South America. So I just, I do, I just find it kind of amazing. Like every country they're going to, everyone has a type of French fry. Um, so just kind of get your mind out of like, you know, how we do this in America where everyone eats the same exact seafood. Look at all that stuff on there. Slices of sauce, sliced sausages and different salt. But just to give you an idea, like not everybody eats how we do. So you got to have an open mind. And there's a lot of restaurants around here that will serve stuff like this. Um, these they actually have at the fair now. These uh, like twisty fries, spiral cut fries. It's uh, probably something somebody stole from from a YouTube video and they started serving at the fair. But um, this is just a whole potato that is cut that way on a machine. So look at that. How are they gonna serve it? Oh wow. So it's just salted and then you just get the whole flipping prune. Honey butter seasoning. I'm a a tornado potato. That is awesome. Another one. All right, so that's it. Um, thought it was pretty cool though. Uh, <clears throat> I thought it was pretty interesting. I know that uh, there's a couple of restaurants around here that that are French style that they have their palm frites, which it means you know fried potato, um, and then they serve them with different sauces. I know most Americans just think of you know fries and ketchup, but a lot of places use fries for different things, like the poutine, where you saw the gravy on top of it. Um, there's just a lot of a way, a lot of ways they serve these now. Okay, so um, as far as another method for preparing potatoes, these are potatoes right here. These were mashed and then mixed and then baked again. Um, so mashed or pureed. Pureeing is a first step in many dishes: mashed potatoes, Dutch ass potatoes, potato croquettes, um, and then you boil, steam, bake them first, then combine the other ingredients. I found this little video of like three different really good potato dishes you can do. Um, and potatoes are so cheap 
and it's it's mainly just a clean out your fridge type deal sometimes you know that <clears throat> that you can uh just use what it, what's already in there even if you have leftover potatoes this is a good way to use up leftover potatoes as well well not for these particular ones but just to give you an idea of things you can do with them That was simple, like how you could do that. I mean, they used um, just boiled potatoes, but if you had leftover baked potatoes, that's a big thing for restaurants is just using whatever you have left over. Um, most people, if you've ever had a potato skin, uh, steak fries, any of those things that are like, they're repurposed. So if you go to a steakhouse and you get steak fries, you're basically getting they're using up the leftover baked potatoes from the night before and cutting them into fries because they got that really good starch on them and then serving them again. So it's saving them money. Same thing with loaded baked potato soup. Soup has always been the, the go-to for, we have this stuff left over from a special, let's turn it into soup so we don't lose it. <clears throat> and you don't wanna stock your freezer with all this stuff. Um, potato skins, same thing. Twice baked potatoes, same thing. Twice baked potatoes, you roast the potatoes first. If you don't use them the first night, you cool them down, slice them, take the insides out. You can either save the shell to fry and use it for a tater skin, you know, with chili or whatever you want, or you fry it and then take the insides, whip it with some sour cream and bacon and cheese, pipe it back in there. Now you have a twice baked potato, okay? That's where all that stuff comes from because they had leftovers. Um, same thing with this, you have baked potatoes one night with some steak, you have leftover mash or whatever. Just add stuff to it, make a whole nother dish. Potato soup, you know, that's where they get the loaded potato soup. They had leftover baked potato fixins and they made soup out of it. So that's where a lot of this stuff goes. In this video, 
I really did like um, what they did with the the mashed potato, and then you know putting a the little hole in it with the the glass, and then putting the eggs and cheese in it. That looked really good. And then people who are gluten intolerant, um, the first one where they did the the breaded like if you can't eat a lot of bread, um, they you can buy gluten free breadcrumbs or use like cornmeal instead, but where they did the sliced potatoes that were cooked and made like a sandwich out of it. So you can give that to somebody who can't have wheat. Good thoughts. Okay, so this next one um, <clears throat> on here, this is basically the deep frying potatoes thing. So cut your potatoes in appropriate shapes. So if you want fries, if you want um, hash potatoes, whatever, store in cold water until ready to use, until ready to use. Dry them completely. You can put them in a basket, a colander. You can lay them, you know, then um, lay them out on uh, like towels, whatever you want to do. Blanche, this says for 30 seconds, that's uh, 300. I do them for about a minute to two minutes, okay? <clears throat> Just depend on how cold your fry is. Um, if these are in the fridge overnight and you only put them down for 30 seconds, it's really not going to do what it needs to. Uh, if they're warm, like room temperature, it might go a little quicker, but it's basically pull them out, check the stickiness. You want to make sure they're sticky. Then for service, raise the oil up to 350, deep fry the potatoes till golden brown and cook completely. Um, season to taste. So you always want to season these when they come out of the fryer. Do not put salt on these things in the baskets because the salt will get into your oil and break down your oil. So you want to just take these out, drain them, quickly put them in a bowl, toss the uh, seasoning on there. So while they're still kind of hot and got a little bit of oil, like that's wet on there, hi, it'll stick to it a lot better. And then finally, here's the, the recipe for doing the mash that we already talked about. Okay, so we'll pick back up tomorrow with uh, potato dishes from around the globe. And there'll be four questions waiting for you guys. <laughs>